Our lead rope still coming through. And as you can see, we've got Mackenzie Brown, Locker. Let's go, Tiani! Here we go. We will be the Division Three Southern Section Champion. The fastest runner in the country this year, both on cross country and track, running very well. Good job, here. good job. The sophomore from Dana Hills gives his Southern Section Champion. Twenty nineteen CF Southern Section Division One Finals here at River Plate Cross Country Course, Great Oak High School. They are the deepest program, seemingly year in and year out across the nation. This is their, what you would call, in a sense, their junior varsity squad. Whatever varsity guys is on here, this group is so deep they are trying to go ahead and save for state and nationals. But this group right here, I did some number crunching a few weeks back. Their second squad is among the top 40 teams in the country when you get varsity teams. That's how damn good this group is. Today, they went out and they won Division I Southern Section, which is no joke. First things first, left to right, if you can have a bit of a names, please. I'm Cameron Smith. I'm a sophomore now. John Worthy. Carson Smith. Parker Smith. <laughs> Joshua Brennica. Leandro Candre. Uh, Austin Montes. Coach Souls. Coach Souls. First <laughs> name is? Doug. <laughs> You have a great luxury, but also you've got a situation where you've got a great group of kids that follow the plan. So it allows for you guys as a program to be this good. And you help put them in the spotlight, get them into those big races as well. Uh, what are your thoughts when you have this group doing so well on a big stage? You know, we knew this team was going to be really deep, you know, at the beginning of the season, how well all these guys were running. So the, the ultimate goal was to have kind of two teams ready to go. One team that was going to kind of run the biggest races and the other team that was going to kind of make sure we were good week in and week out. These guys did a great job doing that, winning league titles and, and uh, making sure that we were competing in those races. And so, you know, at the end of the day, the depth in this group uh, is tremendous. We're always trying to build three varsities at the same time. Um, you know, this year's varsity, next year's varsity, and our future varsity. Um, our future varsity looks amazing. Next year's varsity probably looks as good or better than this year's varsity, and uh, this year's varsity is no joke. So, you know, at the end of the day, the depth is there, and, and we know that we can compete pretty much with whatever group of kids we throw out there. Um, I didn't sleep a whole lot this week because I was worried that, you know, if things don't go your way and all of a sudden you get eighth place and, and you're not moving on, but we had a lot of faith. I think the biggest thing was the uh, the top six guys had unconditional faith that these guys could do it, uh, and that, that was the thing that really uh, made me feel confident that we, we could pull this off. It's an amazing thing every year what you, guys, what you guys are able to do as a program where you guys step up and do the job, and then next year it's another group. It's just phenomenal. Uh, What's the approach you guys take? Because I'm, you know, people refer to you guys as a JV team, but you guys are better than almost every varsity team that was out here today. Do you guys come in with a chip on your shoulder, motivated when you guys hear JV, or, or what's the mindset? What's the approach for you guys? Uh, I think we've embraced uh, the quote unquote being called the B team, but in our hearts we all know that we are we would be a varsity team or contribute to another varsity team on any other team. So um, our mentality was always be ready to step up. If someone falls or something, but stepping up today with all of us, we knew that uh, it was our calling to step up. So you guys as a program, I mean, we talk about how deep you guys are. I know it's got to be competitive with those varsity seven spots, and yet every year I see the quality of the kids from Great Oak is just something that I really, really respect because you guys are great team players. I mean, it goes all the way down the line. How much, do, whether it be you know, your head coach, assistant coach, or somebody else, how much does that emphasize the importance of teamwork? Because you guys just blow me away with how unselfish it seems out there all the time. Yeah, definitely with a, a team as deep as ours, um, it's, it's all about the team. Uh, we're, we're out there running for each other, and uh, we're happy for each other, and we're, we're out there doing our best for each other. So that's really important. All right. Once again, uh, Coach, any last thoughts on this squad here? <laughs> Great job. Uh, I mean, it's, it's always a risk when you do something like this, but uh, just to see these guys go out and run for the, the top six and, and uh, the, the belief that the top six had in them, um, to see two guys still finish in the top eight uh, is pretty impressive performance. Um, you know, took out some pretty big names today. So definitely proud of them and excited to uh, see how they continue to finish. If some of them run Foot Locker or whatever, we're going we're gonna to see some big performances. So exciting for us. All right, so in closing, what you're looking at here, this is not the B team. This is the CF Southern Section Division I Championship team. Great job, guys.